What's happening, Eden Eaters, and welcome back to the Super Trooper Eddie channel, and welcome back to another unboxing video. In today's video, Eden Eaters, we'll be unboxing the collector's edition of the brand new game, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Veteran Eden Eaters of the channel will know that I've been hyping myself up for weeks for this game, and will know exactly how excited I am to make this unboxing video and to play this awesome game. So far, reviewers have been giving The Witcher 3 near perfect scores, so this should turn out to be a really awesome game, but you guys aren't here to talk about that, you guys are here to see what's in this bag. Bad boy. And first of all, it has to be said how good the packaging looks on the collector's edition. That wolf medallion with the red eyes, oh god that looks great. Anyway, let's get this unboxing underway by first cutting open the package with the world famous Eddie unboxing katana. As you guys know, this is the only blade I have in my house, the only blade I use for anything, opening my mail, spreading the butter on my crumpets, and for pretty much anything else that I would need a blade for in my house. While I'm cutting open this box, I just want to say thank you to everyone for giving me tips in my previous unboxing videos, all those people that were telling me that I really shouldn't put my thumb under the blade i really don't understand why but i'll take those points on board and you know i just want to make for a good video for the fans so yeah i'll do that and there it is oh wait that's just the sleeve but still it's a pretty badass wolf logo there god admit anyway let's open up the lid here and the first thing you are greeted with is a bunch of signatures of all the devs that worked on this game worked on the witcher 3 for countless years this is a really good touch in my opinion it really helps the people who are who are really hardcore fans of this game hardcore enough to buy the collector's edition how much work went into this game and how many people dedicated their lives for X amount of years into what you're about to play. One of the names on here is actually Mr. No One. I really want to meet who Mr. No One is. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you Mr. No One for making The Witcher 3. Underneath the signatures we've got another wolf medallion logo. That's count three now. It is a really nice wolf medallion with red eyes. Don't get me wrong. And this is where the bulk of the items are. Inside here we have The Witcher 3 art book filled with all kinds of glorious art. There was very clearly a lot of attention to detail and a lot of really cool imagination put into this game. If you have got the collector's edition, chances are you've read this. It is filled with amazing facts to do with the game and what they did to make it and what they were going through when they were thinking about designing each and every part of the game. Next in the box we have the actual game, The Witcher 3 game there. And underneath that you have the special collector's edition steelbook. This is just if you fancy putting your game in the steelbook like I do, rather than in the original case, just to make it that little bit more special for you. On the front you have the picture of Geralt and on the back you have the picture of Ciri. A character you'll meet and grow quite fond of in the game. I really wish that every collector's edition had this foam in it. It feels so great. <laughs> and finally in this box is the Witcher Wolf Medallion. The one that you've been seeing all over the box. Except this is the real one. This is the one that Geralt wears around his neck. God, this looks really cool. And it's damn heavy as well. That's something that I should probably mention. All these items that you see in these boxes. Everything seems to have a really solid feel to it. Collector's editions. Some game companies, they don't put a lot of effort into them. Some of them are made out of cheap plastics and stuff like that. But everything is made from what feels like really solid materials and this medallion a chunk of metal and it looks like a lot of work has gone into making this look as detailed as it is And finally, let's dive into the last part of this unboxing video, the final piece of the puzzle, which has to be the statue in this styrofoam box here. As you can see, you've got another wolf emblem embossed onto the side of the styrofoam box there, of course, why not? Gonna need the world famous unboxing knife again for this. And voila, there it is, the Witcher himself on the back of a griffin, about to kick his ass. A little bit of assembly is required here, the sword of Geralt and the tail of the griffin are detachable just to make for easy packing. But really it's nothing major and when it's put together I have to say this thing looks astonishing. It also feels really really good. I've read some of the literature and it's made out of something called polystone. I don't exactly know what polystone comprises of but I'm guessing it's something really sturdy. It must have some sort of stone in it since it has stone in the name. I'm not a geologist don't quote me but whatever it is it feels so good and I hope that every collector's edition statue or figurine or anything is made from this polystone stuff. It looks really good and it feels really Really great. It is marvellous, the detail, each individual crease on each individual feather of the griffin, and the detail in Geralt's chain link armour is just amazing. God, this is one great collector's edition. Anyway, Adinators, that's everything in the box of the collector's edition for The Witcher 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did and want to see more awesome content, then feel free to subscribe to the SuperTuber Eddie channel. And don't forget to check out some of the annotations at the end of the video if you want to see more awesome stuff. And also, if you did enjoy this video and you feel like it's worth it, then why not hit that like button? 
Once again, guys, my name is Eddie, and now you have a piece of Eddie inside you, and I will see you all next time, Edinators.